Positive Coaching Scotland programme is a culture change programme aimed at the major influencers in a young person's life. These are the sports coaches, the club leaders, the school teachers and their parents. The strength of the programme is that it's a partnership programme and it's run with our key partners including Sports Scotland, Scottish FA and the Scottish Rugby Union. The purpose of it is to provide a positive learning environment for young people. The Positive Coaching Scotland programme is delivered through a series of live workshops. It's then backed up with a series of educational materials. I think the key thing about PCS is actually the word positive. For every individual to learn that they can be positive, they can try to do the best that they, they personally can be. There is no barrier, there is no bar to what you can achieve in life if you just learn to put in the effort. So life lessons about respect, about building relationships, about taking responsibility, basically enhancing your own life through your own efforts. Young people are growing up in a fast-changing society. By the time they're 38, they will have had 10 to 14 different jobs. Our work with PCS in Scotland over the last eight years has shown that it is a fantastic vehicle to develop the very life skills which employers are demanding in today's world. These attributes include things like resilience, confidence, teamwork. We really grabbed the hold of, of PCS when it came along and, and, and used that as a catalyst to make us change, to make us improve things by working with clubs, by working with the leagues, to let them see that when you do things right, it can really be a wonderful experience for people. PCS has made a difference uh, to the ethos and culture that are running in our clubs and we're now expanding that into schools. And we believe that PCS, a positive coaching model, uh, creates the right sort of culture that develops children both on and off the field. Dundee West have probably got first introduced to it about four or five years ago and we're seeing the benefit of that with our younger teams at nines, tens and all that. You shake hands and you um, say well done for winning or even if, um, well maybe, ne maybe I'm next time. Unlucky. Good maybe luck. next time or Good something if they look. I think it's brought unity and you know, we have so many different factions at the club here at Murrayfield and bringing PCS into it has brought us all together basically. We have uh, many players being ball boys or ball girls for, for the, the, the senior sides and conversely we have players from the ladies and the men who are down today so they're down today. Definitely Matthew likes whole environment you know it's uh putting him up his confidence as well, which is very important. He just generally really loves it. You can see the confidence growing, um, and PCS has been a massive part of that. Well, they're learning us very good, and it's very fun with them. They just being more positive about things, never, not to discipline him, like, and tell him that he's not doing so well, nothing, but just to find the positive side of things and what he's doing, especially like with his schoolwork and other uh, curricular activities that he does outside of school. There's much to be gained too by adults who can benefit hugely from uh, being absorbed by PCS and by taking on the principles involved. Grown-ups, as we know, have a responsibility to lead and teach by example. It's no good encouraging children to adopt the values if adults behave differently and poorly. I, the reason I got involved was I took my son to a coaching session and it was a disaster. Kids were laughing at him. The coaches were found it a bit funny, other parents found it a bit funny, so my son never went back. Shouting at any children doesn't work. Certainly shouting at autistic kids definitely doesn't work. So I want all the coaches and all the people involved, all the volunteers that will get involved in the future to be able to give that positive environment for these kids to take part. The key thing for us is about creating better people, not just better players. We, we do it feed that this is the way that you would behave, this is the way that, that, that you get on in life. And you would see kids heads down as they were matched off to the car because they'd had a bad game. As we've interacted with the clubs and, and gone in and done parents' workshops, um, we found that the parents know the questions to ask. Did you have fun? What, what happened in the game? You know, talk to me about the game. And what we've had is we've had parents coming back to us saying, at that level that children maybe stop speaking quite as much when they go into their teens, it's actually opened the dialogue and communication for them. And also teamwork's very really good about that. Teamwork, yeah. Sport's really good for us to just see our friends, learn new stuff out And get fitter. Yeah. Yeah, get, get fitter fit. and lose some of this fat on this belly, this belly, this belly and this belly. It's fun. What's next for the Positive Coaching Scotland programme is to build on the success of the last seven years. We know we've been successful in sport, but now we want to broaden that horizon and go into education. 
We're looking to try and tailor the Positive Coaching Scotland programme throughout the whole journey of the child. So that will mean from the early years development in nursery schools all the way up to young people, leaving university, colleges, going on to a positive destination and into their work life as well. Our vision is that the Positive Coaching Scotland programme will support all major influencers in a young person's life so that they know how to create a positive learning environment in and beyond sport so that all young people can achieve their personal best. Yay! Proud to be a one.